Fuck you. After the release of the Insane Trilogy, rumors were spreading everywhere about a remake of Crash Team Racing. Then, the Game Awards, where a CTR remake has officially been announced. Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. Much like Insane, I was extremely excited for it, and when it was released, it didn't disappoint. Since this is a remake, a lot of things will remain the same like the story and gameplay design. Much like Insane, everything that was done in the original was done so much better in the remake. The presentation is great. From the cutscenes to the graphics to the music, Nitro Field greatly excels at all this. It also greatly excels at the controls. Again, it does feel a little heavy at first, but then again, so did the controls in the original. Also, if you think the original was hard to pick up, Nitro Field is even harder. This is due to the vast improvement in terms of speed. Don't get me wrong, there was nothing wrong with the speed in CTR. Just Nitro Field is so much fucking faster in comparison that makes the PS1 game look so slow. It's so hard in comparison. I don't remember Pinstripe being this fucking brutal on CTR. There's some new additions in CTR that makes it stand out. In fact, there's so much that it barely feels like a remake. It Loki feels more like a sequel. Well, for starters, Oxide is finally playable. Let's fucking go. But there are also new characters, such as Nitro Kart characters like Crunch and Velo, Tag Team Racing characters like Pasadena and Von Clutch, and so much more. Hell, there's also characters like Hasty and Yaya that no one knows about because the characters are either obscure or in Hasty's case, scrapped. Trust me, the list goes on when it comes to the new characters. Like, you ever want to play as a fucking chicken? Better question, you ever want to play as a literal fucking box? Yes. The new characters aren't even half of the new additions in this game. There's also new tracks, new modes, online, and even a whole fucking free season pass. Yes, every month there's a new season with a different theme, a new track, and some new characters. There's even a humorous cutscene presenting the season run by Chick and Stu from Tag Team Racing, and they treat it like the game is some fucking sports network. Live from Activision, this is CTR TV! Welcome race fans, I'm Chick Gizzard Lips, and this is my clamorous co-host, Stu. There's even a Fortnite-like in-game store known as the Pit Stop. The Pit Stop has a shit ton of things. Characters, skins, wheels, stickers, paint jobs, and more. You get to buy the in-game currency, Wumpa Coins. That's cool, but the amount of coins you get are unpredictable. Just play the online mode if you're grinding for coins. You get a shit ton no matter what, and you get 5 times the amount of coins the first 30 minutes of playing online mode. You also get double the amount of coins when you play in the weekend, so I recommend playing this game in the weekend and play online. I can go on about how much of a double-edged sword the pit stop and earning in-game currency is, but all I'ma say is that skins should not cost more than characters. And because Activision can't help but be Activision, they forced Beanox to add microtransactions in the game a month after launch, even though Beanox stated that there won't be any microtransactions. Fuck Activision, bro. It's not as bad as Fortnite in terms of microtransactions, like you can still get hella shit by in-game currency, but if you don't want to work for your coins, you gotta pay real money to get hella coins. And sometimes the bundles can cost a fortune. The fact that Activision pretty much had a gun to Beanox's head about microtransactions proves that they are a shitty fucking company. And let's be honest, this game really didn't need microtransactions. Especially now since there's always a sale and they reduce the prices of bundles. The microtransactions are pointless. Overall, Crash Team Racing Nitro Feud is a fantastic remake to an already fantastic game. Even though it's a little rough around the edges due to the pit stop and a dumbass addition of microtransactions, there's still a lot to be proud of. Great presentation, addicting gameplay, and a fuck ton of replayability. If you're a fan of the original, then this is a must buy. Much like Insane, I respect its existence for pleasing old fans and bringing in new fans. That's the beauty of a remake. It's a racing game worth playing and a crash game worth buying. Alright fellas, one more review. I'm not even gonna say what's next. This one came out only a few months ago. You all already know what's the next game. Play the preview. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. 
Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. <laughs>